Okay, it is 2023. I'm calling it the year of cake. I wanna try and make as many vegan plant-based cakes as I can this year. I just really like making cake. I'm thinking maybe I try for a goal of 50 cakes. That might be a bit ambitious, especially with a baby and a toddler, but let's see how many I can make. Uh, today, I'm going to make a chocolate chip cookie dough cake. This one is very much inspired and kind of following <laughs> here in Ireland. So a bit of backstory, back when I had Felix, I you know, there was lots of late nights in the rocking chair, breastfeeding, trying to figure out how to feed all of that, trying to stay awake. I would be on my phone watching Instagram and I saw Erin Ireland was sharing all these different cakes that she was making. And I was just like, I wanna make cakes. So I ended up going into YouTube, watching so many different channels, all about decorating cakes, making cakes. And that's really when I started to dabble in cake making. I am very much self-taught fumbling my way through and I really enjoy it and it makes me really happy. So I thought, you know what, this year let's document my growth when it comes to cakes. Over the past three years, so since Felix was born, I have been making cakes for special occasions, for fun. I just really enjoy it and I like coming up with different flavor combinations. So I figured if I'm gonna do this YouTube journey, I should document these cakes that I'm making and uh, see how I can grow over the next year. Um, coming up with my own recipes and my own flavor combinations and trial and error. So follow along if you want to see how that all goes. Today, I'm going to make a chocolate chip cookie dough cake I'm from Erin Ireland. She has a new bakery uh, to live for in Vancouver. I don't live in Vancouver, I'm out here in Quebec, but I want a cake and I want to try this cake. So she has a version of it up on her website so you can check that out. I've done my own recipe for the cookie dough and for the cake layers and the buttercream. So I'll share those with you today and let's get into it. Okay, to start, we're going to make the buttermilk. So I've got already two cups of oat milk measured out and I've measured out one tablespoon of white vinegar and I'm just gonna add that in, stir it in, set this aside. Okay, while the buttermilk sits off to the side, I'm going to, in the bowl of a stand mixer, add in my flour. I have two cups of flour, and then I also have already measured out my baking powder, baking soda, and salt. So we have two, oh, sorry, <laughs> one teaspoon of baking soda, a tablespoon of baking powder, and half a teaspoon of salt. Mix this together. Okay, the vegan buttermilk mixture has been sitting for a little bit. I'm going to add it into this bowl. Could have started in this bowl, but that's what the flour was in. Ooh, I got some on myself. I'm gonna add in the sugar. I have three quarter of a cup of sugar, three quarter of a cup of oil. I'm just using vegetable oil, so a neutral oil. Two tablespoons of vanilla extract. I'm gonna whisk this together. Okay, I'm adding the wet ingredients to my dry ingredients. I had the paddle attachment on, but I changed it for the whisk. And we're gonna whisk this together. And just mixing this until smooth. That's looking good. So just scraping the sides and underneath to make sure everything is mixed in together. I'm going to add this to my prepared cake tins. I'm using six inch cake tins, uh, three of them. So I've added some vegan butter on it or greased them. Uh, and I've added a square of parchment paper. You can also do it in two eight inch or two nine even. Let's evenly divide it. I'm going to eyeball this at first and then I'm gonna use a scale cause I have a scale, I might as well. But eyeballing it's totally okay. Okay, got my scale. This one definitely needs more. Yeah, so these are all sitting around 420 now. So these are gonna go into the oven. I have the oven set to 350 and I am going to, I don't know how long they're gonna bake for. I'll find that out and then I'll let you know. Um, I think it all depends on your oven. Uh, I think it'll probably be about 30 minutes, but I'll check them around 20 just to see how they're doing. Put these in. Okay, 
Now, let's make the cookie dough. Okay, making the cookie dough now, I have two tablespoons of a vegan egg replacer. So I'm going to add in six tablespoons of water and mix this together and set it aside. Next up, we're gonna cream together the vegan butter and the sugars. So I have three quarter cups, both of brown sugar and white sugar. And I have three quarter cup of vegan butter. I'm using the basal sticks super easy to find and they were on sale. And I'm gonna use the paddle attachment. I'm going to let this mix up for about three, five minutes. Okay, so this is good. We are going to add in the vegan egg now. I'm adding in one tablespoon of vanilla as well. And we'll mix this up. Okay, so in this bowl, I've already mixed together our dry ingredients. So I have two cups of flour, one tablespoon each of baking powder and baking soda, and half a teaspoon of salt. I'm gonna add this in, maybe just a bit at a time. I'll get a spoon. Oh, I'll use a spatula. I'll do half and then mix it. And I'll add in the other half so it doesn't fly up. <laughs> okay, that is mixed and now I'm going to add in the chocolate chips and I have a cup of dairy-free chocolate chips. Mix those in. Lovely. There we go, Ooh, cookie dough. Now, benefit of cookie dough, I was vegan. You can eat it raw. Mmm, I like it. So what we're gonna do with this cookie dough, I'm gonna put it into a bowl, put a cover on it, put it in the fridge for about 30 minutes or so. Then we're going to make cake rounds uh, with some of the dough, little cake balls to decorate on top, and maybe we'll bake some cookies out of what's left on it as well. We'll see, but let me do that. Okay. This is going in the fridge for 30 minutes while the cake cooks. And let's make some buttercream next. Okay, cleaned up the kitchen a bit. I've got other ingredients ready to go. We're making the buttercream. So vegan buttercream, I am using a vegetable shortening and vegan butter mixture. I have half a cup of vegan butter softened. Uh, again, this is using the basal sticks. And I have a cup of vegetable shortening. So I'm going to let these mix to combine. So I'm gonna let them whip up for probably a good five minutes. Lock it in. Start off low, uh, low and slow, and then I'll speed it up. It's like looking nice and silky. Try and scoop some out so you can see it here. Not me. There we go. <laughs> looking nice and silky. Now I'm going to add in the powdered sugar. Just wanna put this somewhere. Okay, so going to do, I think five cups of sugar. That's usually what I do, but I do them one at a time. My unscientific measurement there. Whip up for a little bit. That's three. And the last cup. It's pretty thick. I'll mix it up and show you. That's what that's looking like now. Okay, for this buttercream, I'm just making it a vanilla buttercream, so I'm going to add in two tablespoons of vanilla. We'll mix that in and see if I need to add any oat milk in. It's looking pretty good. I am gonna add in a tablespoon of oat milk. Okay, Freya. Just a second. Actually, let this mix while well at Freya's side. I need to get one of those spatulas. Have you seen them? The spatulas that you can use to like scrape off from the paddle. I don't know where I saw them. Online somewhere. 
Oh yes, this is, this is pretty gorgeous. <laughs> okay, here you go. It's hard to show you. Yeah, I think this is exactly how I want it. You know, oh, I have to taste it. I haven't tasted it. One of the things I'm trying to get better at is while cooking, baking, all that tasting along the way. Yep. <laughs> you know what? I'm covered now in sugar and flour and all of that. I should have put on my new apron. Matthew got me an apron, let me show you. He got me this for Christmas because we had talked about that I was gonna start this channel. Look at that. So cute. I'll have to tie this up, but I really should have been wearing this. Is there a way to tighten it? Oh yeah, ooh. There we go. <laughs> Do you like? <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna put a lid on this and put this to the side. While I was making the icing, or baking the buttercream, icing, buttercream, frosting, I don't know. What do we call it? What do you call it? Anyways, while I was doing that, the cakes are done. They came out of the oven, they took 25 minutes. They're a little golden on the sides. I like to trim my cakes anyway. Let me show you. There we go, I've got them cooling. I think I can try and get them out of their tins, but you can see here, looking good, they smell delicious. The sides are done. They've got a nice spring on the inside. And I did a toothpick, te toothpick test as well. And they were good. There we go. And I learned this trick. I think it was from Caked by Katie. You don't necessarily have to have round parchment paper in your, pin in your tins. I did a square and they're coming out fine. I did grease them, um, but yeah, that that works, so you don't have to go through the hassle of trying to make a circle. Okay, I'm gonna let these cool. They are very delicate. They feel, actually, I thought that the sides were gonna be quite caramelized. I don't think that they are. So I don't think I'm gonna have to do any trimming on these cakes. We'll let them completely cool, and then I will decorate. Well, I guess we have to make the cake, the cookie centers. Okay, I'll tidy up, then we'll do cookies. A little change to my apron. It was tight around my neck, so I've changed it up. I am going to take half of this cookie dough, or about half, maybe a third. And I have this wonderful mat. Oh, you can't see it, can you? Let me change the camera. Okay, so I have this wonderful mat here. I am just adding the cookie dough onto it. This is way too much, yeah. I don't want the layers to be super thick. This is great because it already has the amount. So we're doing six inch layers. I'm going to roll out or press this out. <laughs> A six inch layer that will go between the cake layers. I'm gonna set this aside for when it's time to do the cakes. I'm gonna do another one of these. And I'm gonna put them back in the fridge. There you go. I'm going to use maybe half of what's left or a third of what's left. I'm going to make little cookie dough balls to put on the top of the cake. I'll make like maybe 12. It's probably, I probably only need six because I think I'll do six dollops on top. I'm gonna make them all roughly the same size. I could weigh them. I'm just gonna eyeball them. Okay, so I still have a fair amount of dough left here and I was thinking about freezing it, but I think I am gonna make some little cookies uh, just to put along the base like Erin has in her cake. So, oh, I should've just done that to make those balls. Anyways, <laughs> I'm gonna do half the size because we're doing a smaller cake. So I'm just gonna take a uh, so is this a teaspoon, a teaspoon scooper, and do like half, cut them in half, uh, roll them, put them on the parchment paper, bake them in the oven at 350. We'll see how long they take, maybe. I think they're, they're small, so I'll check them at five and maybe they'll go closer to 10, uh, but we'll see. So I'm just gonna roll a bunch, bake a bunch. I think I'll still freeze most of this dough because then when Felix asks for cookies, I can say, oh, we have cookies dough in the freezer. Let's make some cookies. He's always asking for cookies. We usually make them. I have rolled out 
15 cookies. Rolled them and pushed them down a bit. They're going in the oven at 350 for five, 10 minutes, maybe eight minutes. I guess we'll see. Anyways, tie this up now. One of the things I love about being vegan, you can eat raw cookie dough, no problems. It didn't stop me before, but now I know I'm okay to do it. Okay, let's assemble this cake. Okay, starting with just a little bit of icing at the bottom. Down one cake layer. I'm going to add on some frosting. Cookie layers have been in the fridge. So adding that on, then I'll add on just a touch more frosting. Their cake layer. It's gonna be a big, a big cake. <laughs> frosting. My next cookie dough layer. A little bit more frosting on top actually, not a ton. This is the last cake layer. So I'll do it so the bottom is up. This is a big cake. Let me zoom out that camera. Okay. Now how does this look? Time for a crumb coat. Crumb coat just locks in the cake. You put it in the freezer for a couple minutes, 10 minutes, and then you can finish it off, but it just locks the crumbs in. Crumb coat, I'm putting this into. Oh no, it's. I'm putting this into the freezer. Okay, the cake took a little slide in the fridge, in the freezer, so we'll just have to work with it. My bad. So now I'm just gonna add on icing. Oh, <laughs> really, it's like, no. Oopsies. We'll see what we can do to fix this. But, I mean, lessons learned. <laughs> Make sure it's got a secure spot. I'm trying to get like a pretty even layer all around before I scrape some off. Okay. Okay, one of the best rules when it comes to icing a cake is to set a timer and just set a timer. When that timer goes off, you're done. I did not set a timer, but I'm I'm not going to overdo it today. We're going to Get this as smooth as I can. I think, you know, you always have some spots that are not the prettiest. Okay, I'm happy with that. Yeah, if I keep going, I'm just gonna drive myself crazy. So I'll just take this in. Okay, I'm gonna do some chocolate drips. Great, and then I'm gonna just add chocolate all onto the top here. I think that looks decent. Okay, I'm gonna add some, just some dollops. How many should I do? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, okay. We've got those. I'm going to add a 
the little chocolate dough balls, chocolate dough balls, not cookie dough balls. Those will all go on top. And I baked some cookies and then I crumbled them. And I'm gonna do little cookie crumbs on the bottom here. Okay, there we go. Okay, I am pretty impressed. This is, well, I have to try it. Let's try it. <laughs> oh, we're gonna have to put it on side. Inside of the cake. Got some buttercream. Get some cookie, get some cake. Mmm. It's sweet, but not as sweet as I was expecting. Oh, that's fun. This is a fun cake. Oh, those cake layers are so nice. They're so light and fluffy. I like this. Super fun. I would totally make this for like a birthday. Yeah, a birthday party. This would be a good, good cake. Put it in my back of my mind for the boys. Yeah, I like it. I like it. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Yes. I'm going to finish this piece. <laughs> if you want to follow along with my year of cakes, hit the subscribe button. Uh, I'm going to try out as many different combos as I can. So if you have any ideas for cake combinations that you would like me to try, please add that to the comments. And what else should I say? I'm still new at this YouTube, so I don't really know how to end it. Bye.